Hello everyone and welcome to this Manage Engine Endpoint Management and Security Solutions webinar. Let me begin by introducing myself. My name is Nisha Balaji. I am a product marketing specialist associated with Manage Engine's Endpoint Management suite of solutions. And today, for this session, I will be your presenter. As we all know, given the current scenario, all of us are working from home. So it is apt that we discuss in detail about remote work, its complications and our counteractions. But before we even begin, let me ask you all a quick question. Do you have an existing work from home policy in your organization? Now this is prior to the current scenario. You will find a poll on your screen for you to post your responses. I'll wait for a few moments. We have a very close number here. So let me close this poll with 53% of, of you saying that you do have an existing remote work policy in your enterprise. But what about the others? So first, let us discuss about this remote work and its implications in endpoint management and security. This is the agenda that I have planned for today. First, we'll have an overview of what remote work is and what we know about it. Next, we'll discuss on why this topic is the dire need of today. Later, we'll understand the implications of remote work policy and also the challenges that it poses for an enterprise, IT admin, and also the end user. Lastly, we'll discuss on the available solutions in the market to counter these challenges. Now, during the course of this webinar, in case you have any questions or queries, feel free to post them on chat. We have expert panel members who can answer all your queries. So with this note, let me proceed further into today's session. So first, we have a slight overview. Undoubtedly, remote work is now on the rise. While having the ability to work from outside a corporate office, has been feasible for quite a few decades. But working completely remote is only now becoming mainstream. Remote work is the working style that allows professionals to work outside of a traditional office environment. Now, this is based on the concept that work, this is based on the concept that work does not need to be done in a specific place to be executed successfully. But is that all? Do we know everything about remote work? Well, take a look. As you can see, clearly we can relate our knowledge of remote work with this iceberg. What we know about remote work, be it its pros or cons, are just the tip of the iceberg, say roughly around 25%. But the real complications, which account up to 75%, lie submerged far away from our mind. So in this webinar, let us try and look into the unknown complications that might arise due to remote work. But before that, First, let us begin with our existing knowledge. Remote work 
and what we know about it. But before that, there's another quick question for all of you. Since almost all of us are working from home for the past couple of weeks, do you all think that working from home is more beneficial? Please do answer the poll shown on your screen. I'll wait for your responses. As far as the progress now, I think we have a clear winner. Well, let me end this poll results with 82% of you saying it is quite beneficial. But what about the rest? They do not think so. So let us analyze why this is so. First, let us take a look at the advantages and conveniences of working from home. The first and foremost advantage is of course a flexible schedule. Of course, working remotely gives us the freedom of working at our own convenient time. Be it starting late in the morning or working late into the wee hours, we can fix our own timings. And the next, which goes hand in hand, is having a custom environment. While some of us prefer working in an office setup, others, we might not know, they might prefer working straight from the comfort of their beds. Isn't it? An added advantage of working from home is that there is zero commutation. Now this will save long hours of travel, which thereby will improve the number of working hours. Working remotely will reduce or even completely eliminate any kind of office distractions. Don't you agree? Taking a coffee break every half an hour and small talk with colleagues might unknowingly affect our productivity. This remote work policy will and has proved to improve employee productivity. You too agree with me, don't you? This remote work policy, according to one business study in a news daily, has allowed employees to work 1.4 more days per month than their office-based counterparts, resulting in more than three additional weeks of work per year. Lastly, let us not leave out this. We can cut down our expenses by at least half. No commutation cost, no money spent on lunch. So with all these said, remote work does look very advantageous, isn't it? But then we should also take a look at the other side of the coin. Let us now discuss some common cons of working remotely. The first and foremost difficulty that comes to everyone's mind is communication issues. Be it handling a general discussion or a brainstorming session or conducting meetings or even walking up to IT admins for troubleshooting your devices. All of these can be done in just a matter of few minutes if you are in the office environment. But working remotely will bring a whole new level of issues. Numerous emails, conference calls, group chats, video meetings, and not to mention countless help desk tickets pile up under this culture. And the next biggest challenge here is maintaining a work schedule. Didn't we mention this as an advantage? Working from an office will provide a fixed idea of working. 
Say a regular work schedule may start at 9 a.m. and end at 6 p.m. But working remotely will change this fixed pattern. As we said, some may prefer starting late in the night or some may prefer working early in the morning. Now this change in work pattern might affect the team productivity or more precisely, it will widen the communication gap. This lack of communication and coordination might lead to weaken the team spirit of the employees in the organization. Now the next one is another double-edged sword. Working from home might save up your cost of commuting and food expenses. But on the other hand, it also contributes to an increase in the time spent at home. Additional expenses of electricity, telephone and broadband bills. So with this, I think we cover a fair idea of the pros and cons of remote work or what we know about it, isn't it? But then, what is this sudden need to talk about remote work and work from home culture? Any and every article, blog, and surveys point to this topic. We all know the answer to this one. Coronavirus or COVID-19 is sending shock waves across the globe for its disastrous effects. This pandemic is a pneumonia of unknown causes detected first in Wuhan, China. World Health Organization is working 24 by 7 to analyze data, provide advice, coordinate with partners and health countries prepared to handle this pandemic. Let us all hope that we come out of this pandemic safely without any drastic effects. So during this pandemic, how do we cope with it? This basic question is raised in every organization. Let us see what the current scenario is. I think this precisely summarizes our situation. We are all connected from our portable devices, be it laptops, smartphones, tablets, or even our very own BYOD devices. We are all working together to help our enterprises survive this pandemic. Take us for example. All of us are working from home for the last one month. We faced a vulnerability issue during this period. But despite working from home, we fixed the issue within a span of few hours and even took further security measures to enhance our products. Coincidentally, this vulnerability was exploited by Chinese threat groups. Even a global pandemic does not stop cyber attackers from deploying security threats. Not just our organization. All over the globe, this remote work culture is now followed. Right from deploying applications, remote troubleshooting, analyzing help desk tickets, and even scheduling patches for remote machines. Every single task is now done remotely. So with all this said and done, let us first learn about the implications of remote work, especially in the endpoint management and security area. Let us understand the issues that it poses in your endpoint management schedule. But before that, let me ask you all another quick question. What is your role in your organization? Are you an enterprise manager or an IT administrator or be the end user? Please enter your responses in the poll 
displayed on your screen. I'll wait for a few moments. Well, we have a good mix of all the three roles in our attendees list. We have 21% of enterprise managers, 63% of IT admins, and 17% of end users. So why did I ask this question? These three roles are the three gears for an organization to function. The root of an organization's growth and success lies with these three people. Now, since according to this poll, we have a good mix of all the three categories, let us individually discuss specific problems faced by all the three departments during this remote work. So whom shall we start off with? So let me begin with the challenges faced by enterprises. So the first point listed here is a business continuity plan. Business continuity is an organization's capability to maintain mission critical functionality during and after a disaster. These disruptions that can cost an organization's time, money and productivity. So planning a business continuity plan helps them in preparing for these risks before they even happen. But even in this connected age, risk assessment, risk management, and disaster recovery planning remain critical for ensuring enterprise continuity. After all, not all of us would be completely prepared to face this COVID-19 pandemic. So the next listed here is employee productivity. All the organizations now trust their employees to work efficiently from their remote location. But the enterprises too need to keep a track and monitor the employees efficiency. The next one here is a very critical and complicated challenge, which is protecting your corporate data. Since all the users are working from home and need to access private organization files, enterprises take every possible step to secure the corporate data. Now the next two challenges are a subset of what we discussed here. As the increase in number of people accessing VPN increases, the bandwidth consumption of the organization as well as the end user network will increase during this remote work period. So with this, let us move on to the concerns of an IT administrator in an organization. Having a sizable amount of employees suddenly working remote can be a major change for organization and presents numerous problems with regard to cybersecurity. One issue involves lack of authorization and authentication. Now, because people are not seeing each other face to face, there is an increase in the need for two-factor authentication, monitoring access controls and creating passwords. There is also a risk of increased attacks like phishing and malware, especially since employees are more likely to receive an unprecedented amount of emails and online requests. Now, as we saw, most of the organizations 
are relatively new to this remote work culture and because of this there will be numerous help desk tickets requesting to either troubleshoot their devices or deploy business critical applications or even request access to critical corporate data the task of an it admin now extends to monitoring complete hardware and software be it injecting an unidentified usb device or installing a malicious application all of this have to be monitored by you the it administrators along with this you will also have to ensure that the regular os update and patches are deployed to all the endpoints to prevent any kind of cyber attacks not just limited to it administrators and enterprises the end users too will face a different set of challenges during this remote period let us take a look into them now remote work can effectively widen an organization's attack surface now this is because employees who use their own devices for work can introduce new platforms of operating systems which require its own dedicated support and security now with so many new devices being used it is likely that at least some will fall through these security cracks now this is challenging because often smaller companies lack the necessary know-how and human resources to implement the security measures hackers who are quite aware of this can start targeting third party suppliers with the goal of penetrating upstream partners end users have one other primary concern you guessed it right it is their concerns regarding the privacy of their personal data so with all this being said let us now take a look at the top 10 remote work challenges now this is a compiled list of all the challenges faced by enterprises it admins and the end users but before we begin with this list let me ask you all another quick question so what is your major or foremost concern about remote work is it security or is it productivity please do answer the poll shown on your screen i'll wait for a few more moments again there's a clear difference in your answers 67% of you say that security is the main concern so then let us start off with taking a look at the security aspect challenges of remote work now this i know we all feel the tremors and its impact as soon as we see this word cyber attack is the worst nightmare for every enterprise this covid-19 is no way devoid of cyber attacks covid-19 phishing campaign has been discovered and this one apparently is operated by a pakistani based apd 36 which is thought to be nation backed malicious document pretending to be from the government of india with health advisory of corona virus seems to be delivered by transparent type victims are alert to enable macro to execute crimson rat payload 
Now, one other COVID-19 themed attack appears to be a part of a larger mobile surveillance campaign. This is operating out of Libya and targeting Libyan individuals. An Android application named Corona Live 1.1, which is a trojanized version of the Corona Live app that serves information about the coronavirus tracker. This app is a variant of the Spymax commercial surveillance ware family. This includes all the capabilities of a standard spying tool and even has cyber criminals praise it on underground forums for its graphical interface and ease of use. Closely related to this topic is cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is the challenge that an organization has to face to prevent the issue of cyber attacks. The concerns of an IT admin is ensuring that all proactive measures are taken to prevent any kind of malware or vulnerability. Now, during remote work policy, deploying the required OS updates or critical patch updates and any kind of security configurations, it becomes a tedious task. Security configurations and encryptions to access corporate data and two-factor authentication, etc. All of these need to be enabled to ensure appropriate cybersecurity. Now let us move on to the next challenge, which is communications management. As we discussed, this is a known critical issue. But then, how does it affect IT admins during remote work. The long list of requests to install commercial applications and tools and specific files that had to be transferred during a remote troubleshooting and also initiate instant troubleshooting of devices from any location. More importantly, means of communication like chat or voice and video call is required to understand the end user's issue. Now with this, let us understand a little deeper about the challenges during remote troubleshooting. Remote desktop connection management should enable administrators to connect and control remote desktops be wherever the end user's device may be. When connecting to a remote computer, the administrator should opt to get the user's permission before connecting to their desktops. Now, this should be done to ensure end user's privacy. For auditing purposes, administrators should be able to record remote sessions to monitor the session activities and ensure data security. Now this ensures that the information is under careful supervision and provides rock solid security. Also, if there's a capability, it should have more than one technician to allow access to view the remote session to troubleshoot in case of any issues. So with this said, let us move on to the next challenge. Now this, this is a basic or fundamental challenge during remote work. Every enterprise administrators should configure VPN for all remote users to access corporate files and data. Now, when a majority of the employees go remote, they'll have to set up or reconfigure firewall and port settings and also host a global proxy. All of this need to be done 
to secure your network data and also provide access to your employees. Now, before we proceed to the next challenge, here's another quick question for all of you. Do you feel the need to monitor your employee productivity during this remote work period? Please do answer the poll shown on your screen. I'll wait for your responses. Well, let me end this poll with 62% of you saying that you do have a need to monitor your employee productivity. Now, since most of you say yes, this is the next challenge that we will have to counter. Monitoring employee productivity can be done in a few ways, be it their log on or log out time, or even their application usage time. You don't want your employees to watch movies in uTorrent during your business hours, do you? And neither should the employees inject any unauthorized USB devices to the corporate device. Now, this is not just about productivity. It might also affect your network security. So this should be continually monitored and the IT admins should have the capability to terminate any unauthorized applications running at the end user's device. So let us look into the next challenge. Now this delves deeper into device management. Since almost all of us are working remotely, most of us will opt to use our personal devices to perform professional tasks. We need to ensure that these devices too have to be secured, but without being prey to any personal information. However, to secure all remote devices, security measures have to be implemented to manage or control any malicious applications, untrusted devices, and most importantly, to manage browsers, which is the entry point of any cyber attack. So as discussed here, people might prefer using their personal devices to perform their everyday task. To manage these devices under an enterprise network, the management tool that you use needs to support multiple types of endpoints and offer multi-platform support be it a Windows or a Mac or Linux machine or your Android smartphones, iOS or Chrome OS, all these platforms need to be supported for EC management. So now that we start looking from the angle of endpoint management, the challenge that we face is the support during this remote work period we need to have an ease of access in managing these numerous devices with 24 into 7 support for assistance. Now, this endpoint management tool should offer you a complete 360 degree support, management and security. The last one here. In an enterprise level, a network admin who is responsible to take care of the organization's network needs deep visibility into their network with information on user activity as well as associated devices and their configurations. Now, this information will aid the admin in taking the appropriate network disaster prevention and recovery plans. 
while we have a long list of challenges and that too this is just the top 10 we can make use of a few simple solutions to cater and counter these challenges unfailing efficient meritorious and quite simple once its solution exists are you all ready for it this of course is manage engines endpoint management and security suite of solutions a wide range of products under management and security to cater all your individual needs to overcome any challenge faced during this remote work culture we have manage engines desktop central which is a complete unified endpoint management and security solution which can perform complete management activities right from deploying your operating system to performing activities be it deploying a critical patch or installing and uninstalling software applications getting complete asset details your hardware and software inventory and enabling you to instantly troubleshoot your end user devices along with this we have mobile device management capabilities like device management app management security management with modern management capabilities like geo tracking corporate or complete wipe and putting the device in kiosk mode now in case you want to access only specific features say you want to deploy only os images you can make use of manage engine standalone product which is os deployer and now in this critical session in case you want a tool just to have complete remote control you can make use of manage engines remote access plus similarly we have multiple standalone products under our ems suite to cater your individual needs now this well this will give you a fair idea of the trust and credibility of manage engine in the ems ladder being recognized for both client management tools and enterprise mobility management tool now manage engine is also recognized in the gartner magic quadrant for unified endpoint management tools for two consecutive years we are also recognized in the 2019 forester wave for unified endpoint management and in idc marketscape for worldwide unified endpoint management along with us we are recognized in g2 crowd and cyber defense magazine as a leader in unified endpoint management so with this said what is our solutions from manage engine offer you let us take a moment to analyze this again a little deeper yes we offer a 30 day free trial version to manage and secure your endpoints completely catering to your needs but then in addition to this we offer a free trial version using which you can manage up to 25 endpoints also due to the current scenario manage engine is offering a fully functional remote access plus solution which will remain free until july 1 2020 so as you can see the hidden or deep meaning from our solutions using manage engines endpoint management and security solutions you can completely secure and manage your network devices our goal here 
is to help the impacted businesses. To know in detail about Manage Engine EMS suite of products, you can download the product free trial version from our website. Or to know in detail, you can sign up for our personalized demo session where our support technician will walk through the entire product and answer all your queries. If you'd like to schedule a personalized demo session, please do post yes on chat. Our technician will contact you soon on your preferred date and time. In this process, our support technicians will walk through the entire product capabilities and functionalities. Be there a global pandemic or not, we are already marching towards the idea of completely working remote. Remote work culture is now the future. Let us work towards enhancing and improving the three T's, productivity, visibility, and security. So we've come to the end of this session. You have one other quick question. Did you like this webinar? Now, instead of a poll, you will have a feedback form at the end of this session. Do rate us on a scale of one to five, with five being the best. Our next webinar series is on April 16, 2020. Now in this session, you will be learning on how to enhance productivity and security. And we'll also discuss on the solutions to the challenges that we discussed today. Once again, thank you all for joining us in this session.